Felicia Day, thank you so much for for taking the time to talk with TechCrafter again. It feels like only yesterday we were we were talking about three D printing, and now we're back again to talk about more nerdy stuff. I'm still doing it. My daughter just came in my office, and you even witnessed it before the interview began. She ran off with a bunch of my three D printed rings. So everything continues. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So. We're going to talk today about your surprise joining for a guest spot on the 20 Sided Tavern. Um, Yay! Which was really, really cool. I had a chance to speak with Daggle uh, a few months ago, right as they were picking up. Um, so, to begin this all, you know, I'd love to hear from you how you got involved in 20 Sided Tavern. I wish it was more exciting. They called and I said yes. I am so thrilled. I had actually been seeing advertisements and reviews for the 20 Sided Tavern on all of my socials and I vowed as soon as I could get to New York, I was going to see the show because it looks so awesome. And to get an email asking me to be the first guest star for the show was such an amazing honor and I couldn't have said yes fast enough. Fantastic. So at this point, you still haven't seen the show? <laughs> I haven't seen it in person. I have seen recordings. I have a lot of material. Believe me, I do my homework. I'm an A student. <laughs> But I will be seeing it multiple times before I actually go on the stage next Thursday. So um, we have a great rehearsal process and I can't wait to get on the stage. It's so beautiful. Wonderful. So, you know, I did want to ask as a creative, you know, what about 20 Sided Tavern really piqued your interest and, in, in, you know, drew you in? Well, as an actor, it's always been a dream to be an actor in a play on Broadway. And of course, I have been very involved in the D&D world from the very beginning of the broadcasting D&D world. And then on top of that, I've been doing improv for as long as I've been in Hollywood. The Guild actually came out of an improv class. Two of the cast members were in my improv group, and we still perform occasionally in Los Angeles together. So this is truly combining three things I love more than anything <laughs> in one beautiful package. Fantastic. So for you on this, you know, improv D&D &D, uh, stage play, what role or roles are you going to be playing? I'm going to be playing the role of the mage. And that the, and the character of the mage depends on the audience, really. The wonderful thing about 20 Sided Tavern that I didn't actually understand before I got involved in all the, the back behind the scenes is that the audience is completely involved the whole time with what's going on on stage. The audience gets to choose what character I play. They get a, an option between three different characters and it's the audience that chooses who I play that night. There are all these points at which the audience helps me win a battle or chooses the approach that we should take as a party to an obstacle. And it's so fun and so amazing. I can't wait to be live in the audience. And then I can't wait to be on the stage after that. <laughs> For the for the three different types of mages, were those kind of, you know, was the skeleton of it already formed or was that something that you were able to get involved and kind of add a little bit more of yourself to? You know, I think that the archetypes are there. Um, but of course, my interpretation of a, I don't know, throwing this out there, it's not part of the show, but a gnome mage is going to be very different from a Bria or Erica's gnome mage, you know? So uh, the wonderful thing about improv is that it's, uh, unique to the performer. And so every scenario is going to be different every night. Every character is going to be different every night. Heck, my no mage is probably going to be different every night. So <laughs> you, if you come and see the show uh, with me, I'm going to be different every night. The other performers are going to be different. And you're going to come away from the experience having a fresh perspective on all of it. Fantastic. Now, when we when we spoke recently about the 3D printing venture, you did talk about how working on prints related to the guild did show you that you weren't as burnt out as you thought that you were. I would be remiss not to ask if there's any chance for a Codex surprise appearance. <laughs> you know, I don't think Codex will appear be appearing on this stage, but uh, I am working on a Guild musical. We're going to be doing a stage reading of that very soon. So you will see Codex on a stage probably 2025. Wonderful. Some version of her, at least. <laughs> Um, your run starts on the 19th of September and lasts until the 24th. Um, what kind of prep work have you taken up in the lead work? You know, they, I have a lot of material to look at. Uh, and other than that, it's improv, man. Yeah. 
the wonderful thing is I don't I, I can come and do the show without weeks and weeks of rehearsal because we're making it up. I mean, there's a lot of structure. There's a lot of inter audience interaction. There's a lot of technical stuff going on. Um, but it's one of those things that I think it's going to be a lot of on the job training. <laughs> and I literally can't wait. You haven't been just practicing your crowd work, letting letting your daughter shout out suggestions in the middle of the day. <laughs> You know, I did do improv with my friends, Hammer Don't Hurt Him as our group. And we did it two months ago after a long break during COVID. And I can't tell you how wonderful and fun it was. And I just was like, I got to do more improv because it was such a wonderful night collaborating and working with my friends. And so this is like taking that and raising it to a level I could never have imagined. <laughs> and I understand that the, that the structure of 20 Cider Tavern is kind of a little bit audience choose your own adventure with diverging paths. Mm -hmm. are you, you know, kind of aware of the different paths that it can take, or are you just kind of coming into it with a character? You know, I think the less I know, the better, to be honest with you. Uh, I mean, I have a loose idea, but the wonderful thing is that when you see the 20-sided tavern, not only are the characters different every time, the possible characters of even the same actors um, are different, but the adventure is different. Right. So it's not just a linear progression. There are different ways that we could go. And I don't want to give any spoilers away, but, you know, our decisions do impact the end, the end result. And so that's why, again, I'm going to be doing a different play every night. And that keeps it fresh for me and hopefully for audience who want to come back and play with us again. <laughs> Um, and you spoke about, you know, kind of as you go there, you'll watch some, you'll rehearse and then you'll get to be in the production. For a d, d stage play where there's so much audience involvement, what does a rehearsal even look like? Again, I guess I'll see you on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> but I think a lot of it is working on the characters. You know, they're, again, the audience has input into what character I play. So really nailing the voices of the characters, technically knowing where to stand, where the lights are going to be. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, where I should be rolling the dice. The wonderful thing is that I'm myself on stage, but as a performer, but also I'm playing a character. So I go and I roll a dice in a seat and then I get up and I'm a character. So, you know, it's like if you've seen a D, uh, somebody doing a role playing game behind a table, it's just, we don't have the table. We get up and we're our character. And that kind of freedom is going to be so cool. Are there any of the particular like audience or player mini games that you're really looking forward to, to taking part in? Oh, yeah. I mean, there's the one where you have to press as fast as you can. I, again, I was really blown away by the number of options of interactivity that the, the, the audience has. You are constantly along the ride with us. You're never going to get bored. If you start buying things on Amazon, you're not going to have time to check out. I'm just telling you. <laughs> Always, always stay engaged. Yes, 100%. Um, from, you know, as a as a player of Dungeons & Dragons, of the behind-the-table Dungeons & Dragons, <laughs> were there any, from the recordings you've seen, are there any mechanics that were surprisingly similar or different compared to the traditional game? Well, they do have to simplify them somewhat to make it, you know, we're essentially doing a one-shot in an evening. And mm -hmm. so there are some simplifications, but I think they're all very cleverly done. And they're obviously created by someone behind the scenes who loves the format. And it's just like, let's make this as fun as possible while still creating the structure that we all love in D&D. Fantastic. Um, from your history acting across a variety of media as well as time on you know stages what skills are you most hoping to show off when people come and see you at the 20 sided tavern my bad accents really looking forward to that uh my derpy derpy elbows you know i have a real i have real dorky physicality and i'm excited to see get that shown off <laughs> amazing amazing I mean, so really, you know, that's, we've covered what I was really hoping to cover. It sounds like you're super jazzed, ready to, to get some improv energy out there. Um, is there anything, you know, about the performance that you really want to make sure that, you know, people know about, people are excited for, people are, you know, people are jazzed to come and see? No, I just, I want people to come. I think we're going to even do something extra a Sunday night. So if you want to come and, and I want to do that stage door thing where I come out afterwards. It's been my dream always. Uh, this is why I got to be 
uh, an actor is by doing co community theater in Mississippi. So believe me, this is, feels like I've really raised, r risen to the heights that I always dreamed of. And I really feel like if you uh, want to have a good evening and a fun evening, please come out and see me. Fantastic. Well, I mean, thank you so much for, for taking the time to, to chat with me on that. And thanks a lot, Andy. Looking forward to hearing how your run goes. Yeah, appreciate it. Really? Okay.